Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. It's Lauren here and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who flips furniture on the side to put profit toward my student loan debt. Today, I am going to be flipping this chair that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $20 and this chair that I got off Facebook Marketplace for $30, and these two chairs in Ottoman that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $80, and this chair that Nana found at an estate sale for $25. I'm excited for this video. I'm gonna show you again how easy it is to flip these chairs, just a couple of simple steps, posting them on Facebook Marketplace and selling them. So we're gonna start with this chair. This is a bent wood rattan rocking chair and these are highly sought after. Um, and I found it yesterday on Facebook Marketplace for a low price of $20. I've seen chairs go like this for upwards of 200. I even found one on the internet on Etsy for over $500 selling. All I'm really gonna do is clean it up a little bit, get all the dust off and then I'm gonna post it with some good staged photos. This type of chair, this type of flip in general is something that I usually don't do. Usually I put some sort of work and effort into it, but I've just been really on the lookout for chairs like these. So I'm excited and I'm gonna list it at $250 and see what I can get out of it. All right, and now for the fun part, we are gonna be flipping these four velvet rockers and of course i'm gonna rip the skirts off so i'm gonna lay down this tarp in the, my driveway so that i don't scratch up any of the material and then we're gonna be ripping off all the skirts guys it's windy today it's nice but nebraska if it's a nice day it's generally windy so i'm gonna have to tie this down with some wiper fluid maybe some bricks i gotta get this set up All right, hopefully that'll hold. Gonna lay it down for better access to the skirt. We're gonna see what we got going on in here. I've kind of learned to look and see if I wanna be ripping the whole seam off as well, or if I want to just do the bottom part. Just checking it out how it's kind of attached. And I think for this one, we'll be ripping off the entire thing. So let's get to it. All right, I'm bringing out a tiny little pry bar. So hopefully that'll keep me um, on my toes instead of keeping you guys on your toes when I'm using the scissors and you guys think I'm gonna stab myself. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more safe this time. So I'm just gonna start by prying up the skirt to get a little bit of leverage go from the underside. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I gotta get in there. I know it might not be the safest thing, but it's the only thing that gets me started. Okay. Now that I got started, I can use this. Now we cut. And now the fun part, ripping it off. We'll try without pliers, and then if we need pliers, we'll get those out too. Oh, this one's gonna be easy. So I'm gonna keep a tally on timing of these chairs. I just wanna show you guys how truly quick and easy these flips are.
Well, that one was super, super easy. I don't, I literally had to pull out three staples and the rest of them came out with the rip of the skirt. So this one is done. Let's move on to the green ones. Okay, so the green ones actually came with an ottoman. So I'm gonna start with the ottoman, ripping the skirt off and it has legs in good shape. off. I will later go ahead and tack this back down. Um, I'll grab my stapler out and do that, but it's in the garage, so that'll be done before I stage it. I'm just going to check for staples, and looks like there's only two here that didn't come out with the skirt. All right, we're on a roll so far. That one took me like two seconds. All right, guys, I'm kind of on a roll here. I don't want to jinx it, but this one had a few more staples not come with it. Another one off. Easy peasy. One little guy. Oh man. It's all right. It's not that many. All right, so all together with the pink chair, the two green chairs, and the ottoman, we're at about 10 minutes of time put in with just ripping off the skirts, and we've got one more to go. So this is the one my Nana found at an estate sale, and it actually has a wooden rocker swivel instead of a metal one, which I've never seen wooden, so that's kind of a cool little feature. I'm sure that means it's even older than the rest of them that I've done.
sometimes it's a little hard to get leverage, especially where you can pull because of all of the staples that stick out. Once you do pull it off, you don't want to grab that. Obviously that hurt. Back over we go. easy with me. There we go. Just a couple more staples to remove and we'll be good. Time. This one took just a tad bit longer. It was a little bit more difficult, but not only that, a lot of the staples seem to want to stay in there. Not the toughest one I've ever done, as you guys have seen me struggle before, but this one in all took me about 10 minutes, so total time for all four chairs. Oh no, I have the ottoman for this one. Well, so far we've gone about 20 minutes. Now I gotta do the ottoman and it'll probably add on about five. So the ottoman has these nice mid-century legs are, that are wooden and they go along with the rocker that is wooden. And under here, I'll just kind of show you quick where you can look for. If it has this cardboard, you're really able to see where the staples are put in. So I know that there's no staple here. So that would be a good spot for me to insert my pry bar or scissors and then just pry. Make sure you get it in there underneath all the fabric, pry. Then you kind of loosen some staples and then you're able to go on both sides and get a little bit more of a gap before you cut. These ones are seeming to stay in. Of course, it would, let, it would wait till the last one to be trouble. It was easy, but there's lots of staples to get out. Got all the staples off of this one. Total time is about 30 minutes all together. So not too bad. 30 minutes is really not too bad for one, two, three, four chairs and one, two ottomans. So let's get to cleaning. All right, so I got out my Bissell vacuum here. It's a carpet and upholstery cleaner, just a little guy. Put the solution in with the water and then I'm gonna turn it on, spray it down, and suck all of the dust and dirt out of each and every piece. All right, one done, and then I'm just gonna put them in the sun so that they'll dry. I get a lot of questions about bugs. I never treat for bugs or anything like that. I just really make sure 
that I'm buying a chair that I would be okay having in my own house. And if I am, then I'll buy it and then I'll clean it up. And that's all I kind of do for it. This chair has a little headrest thing and it's pretty outdated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off. That will be an option if they want this. I'll keep it on hand, just like the arm chair rests um, covers. I will keep those in, on hand as well. And I'll say that they're available if the customer wants that. All right, this one was actually in really good shape. There was no stains, not even much dust, so it really didn't take me too long between the ottoman and the actual chair itself. I'm in 10 minutes, so let's see how long the rest of them are gonna take. Hopefully, it's gonna be the same amount of time. All right, we're moving on to the green chairs. Let's see how long these three take. All right, one chair done. Let's get the other one over here. All right, the water is full. You can see that dirty, dirty water from one to two and a half chairs and an ottoman. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that out. Ugh. Dirty. Time for the ottoman. All right, so as I said before, I need to go ahead and put this back together. So I've got my little hand stapler and we're gonna push down and staple this cardboard piece back on. This is just like a dust protector type thing. So that way dust and stuff doesn't get under there. Nothing crazy. All right, let's clean it now. Well, <laughs> that ottoman took me one minute. So the first green chair took about 10 minutes. The second one took about 10 minutes. So we're in at about 20 minutes for the green set, which total with the striped chair and ottoman, we're at about 30 minutes. So. The pink chair should take about 10 minutes as well. So as you can see, these are so quick to flip. And then all I've got to do is stage them well and put them on Marketplace to sell.
when I was ripping the skirt off of this one, I noticed that underneath there was a lot of dust and maybe even some pet hair. So I'm gonna flip this one over and also vacuum the bottom. Another thing that I think I might do with the pink chair is to take the bottom off and spray paint it in a matte black. I just think that that kind of goes with the color pink a little bit better than the brown and I've been getting some recommendations to try it so I think I'm gonna try it with this chair. All right, so the pink chair is all finished and before doing all the cushions, we are at about 35 minutes of vacuuming for all four of the chairs plus the two ottomans. So that is not too bad. I am going to get the cushions over here, vacuum those up, and then we'll spray paint the bottom of this rocker before we list all of them for sale. Cushions are done. That took me five minutes. And so that means that I am in a total of 40 minutes for vacuuming and cleaning all of the chairs. So next step is to take off the rocker of that pink one and spray paint it matte black. I just, again, think that will be really tasteful um, once I paint it. I could do a gold color, but I think that that would be a little bit more risky. So I'm gonna go with the matte black and we're gonna see what happens. All right, and we're gonna bring it over in the grass area so that we don't get any spray paint on the cars. Like I said, it's pretty windy, so we gotta go as far away from anything as possible. All right, here we go. and we're gonna let that dry for a little while. It's pretty windy as you can see, so it shouldn't take too long to get dry. All right, so the base has had a little bit of time to dry and now I'm gonna put it back on so that I can take some photos. Let's set it up and see how it looks. Looks better than the brown for sure. All right, and we are finished, guys. I told you I just flipped four chairs in a matter of an hour and 15 minutes. That is crazy. I am going to stage them now for photos. So that's gonna take me just a couple extra minutes and then I'm gonna post it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna post all of them separately except the green set because there's two of them with an ottoman. I'm gonna keep those together because I think that I can actually get more out of them than if I were to do them just one at a time. So let's get to staging. So for staging these chairs, I ended up actually borrowing a little end table from my neighbor. I am working on getting a few more staging props, um, but for now I'm going to work with what I've got. So I want to do a little bit of greenery in here. Plants are always appealing to the eye. And then oh, just a little offset piece here that's a little bit smaller than the plant and the chair. Sometimes you might even grab a blanket to put over top because again, we are staging it so that the customer, the buyer, potential buyers can see it and imagine it in their own home and what they may use it for. <sighs> Guys, I know that only took me about an hour and a half to two hours to flip all those chairs, but 
It was a lot of work. So for the green set with the ottoman, I am going to list that at $275. And my reasoning for that is because way back when, when I first started the channel in November, I was able to sell a set of teal chairs, teal swivel rockers with no ottoman that had a few blemishes, kind of like the green ones do. And I was able to sell those for 200 real quick. So I'm gonna test the market yet again and sell those or at least list those for $275. For the striped chair with the wooden base and the ottoman, um, that is a really rare chair. It's something that I've personally never seen before, the wooden base, and it's in really, really great shape. There's no rips, there's no stains, and the legs are very desirable. So I'm gonna list that one at $250 as well. And this one right here that I'm sitting in, this is a very desirable color. So I am going to list this chair at $225. I've been getting about $160 to $195 for these chairs in the past. So again, testing my market, that it doesn't ever hurt to price high and then have to go down a little bit if it's not selling within the first few days. And then don't forget, I also listed the rattan chair for 250 as well. All in all, that is a potential revenue of $1,000 for these five chairs. About two hours of work, just some ripping off skirts, minimal cleaning and staging to post on Marketplace. $1,000 is a win for me. I'll let you guys know what I sell them at. It's been about four days since posting all of these chairs on Facebook Marketplace. So I have some updates for you guys. After about 45 minutes of posting the green chairs as a set, remember the two green chairs with the ottoman, I ended up actually having someone reach out asking if they could just have one of the chairs. And I was a little bit reluctant at first because I really wanted to keep them together. But then I thought about it and I I was like, well, I can probably get a bigger profit if I separate the two than I could if I sold them as a set. Since I was only listing them for $275 together, I could charge $200 for the one chair and the ottoman, and then later relist the single chair for 180, which is what I usually sell the chairs for, and that would give me a bigger profit margin. So that's what I ended up doing. The person came and picked up the single chair and the ottoman for $200. Then I got to work on taking photos of the single green chair and I listed that. And then right around 10 hours later, I sold that for full price of $180. So that meant after spending $80 on the set of green chairs and selling them total for $380 that I came away with a profit of $300 on those two chairs alone. Fast forward a couple of days and let's talk about this pink chair. I had originally listed it for $225 and I knew that that was pretty high, but I also knew that this color was becoming more desirable in 2021. So I listed it high just to see and feel out my market. I didn't get any hits on this pink chair listed at 225, so I decided to take the listing down completely and repost at just a slightly lower price. I know I didn't wait the full five days like I normally do, but chairs are a little bit different. And again, I was just testing my market. So after listing this chair at 195 just yesterday, I had a couple of hits and then I had someone actually reach out today and they Venmoed me a deposit. You know how it goes though. You never know that it's gonna be sold until they actually take it away. But we'll go ahead and say that this chair is sold for the full price that I listed it at the second time of $195. So I bought it originally for 30, which gives me a profit of $165. So they're gonna be actually coming to get this chair tonight. So head over to Instagram and follow me at Furniture Flipping Teacher, and I will be posting some updates on my stories, and I would love for you to join me over there as well.
As for the striped rocker and the bent wood rocking chair, those are still listed on Facebook Marketplace. I have lowered them from their original posting price because Again, I was testing my market and obviously that was a little bit too high. So I'll continue to lower them just a little bit at a time so that I can see what I can get them at. And I'm probably gonna honestly lower them a little bit more than I normally would. Cause honestly, at this point, I just wanna get them out of here. For the total of the five chairs, I had spent $155. After selling three of these five chairs that I flipped in this video, I have already come away with a profit of $420. And anything on top of that, like when the rocker sells and when the other striped rocker sells is just more added on to my student loan debt. But for now, that's $420 toward my student loan debt. And if you guys like what you see here, be sure to get subscribed down below, but also check out this playlist right here and you can watch me flip other chairs that are similar to these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and just saw how easy and how quick these chairs are to flip and I'll see you on the flip side.